Hey everybody, it's Cubby with uh, Camp FU, and uh, I know it's a little early, it's summertime, I'm actually not up at the camp, I'm actually at my suburbia homestead, down in the man cave, uh, you can tell by all the hunting uh, equipment and clothes behind me, uh, just kind of hanging out, chilling out, but uh, it's summertime, I just wanted to uh, touch base, I know it's a long way away for deer season, maybe your deer camp, maybe you guys are already up at camp with a fish camp or something, but I just wanted to uh, go over a few things. Um, I picked up a used 30 odd six rifle off of uh, another member of Camp FU, Papa Bravo. And uh, what this gun is, is a uh, Savage Edge uh, chambered in 30 odd six. And I know a lot of guys out there, a lot of women who haunt are probably like Savage Edge. Well, I, uh, I normally wouldn't buy uh, another hunting rifle or pick up another hunting rifle because. I already have two. I have one chambered in 30 out 6 another one chambered in 308. Both of them Remington. Both of them are semi-automatic. This one here is actually a bolt. Um, so what I what I want to do to this gun is um, everybody kind of has mixed feelings on what to do, what, what not to do. My whole thing is I like setting up every gun the way I want to do it. I know it's it, the gun's only $250. It has a, a stock scope on it. But I'd like to change all that stuff out. And I know a lot of guys get a little cranky when it comes to putting different optics on a gun that's only worth 250 bucks and all that stuff. But hear me out first. So I picked up this gun uh, from another Camp FU member, Papa Bravo. I already said that. And uh, he never shot the gun. So it's a used gun. He never shot it. We were heading up to the camp last year for the first time, first season deer, deer camp actually at Camp FU and Papa Bravo wasn't able to sight the gun in so he asked me to sight it in so I mounted the scope for him, bore sighted it, took it to the range, fired three shots. After I fired the three shots I was in a square about that big, in a one inch square right on target. I was low maybe a little bit to the left. Hey that's not bad. After I took those three shots, I said, well, we'll zero it in. Made the adjustments on the scope, put it in, 100 yards, three shots, must have been right inside the 10 range with a few adjustments. Walked it right in, boom, done. You know, those one inch square that they have on the standard 100 yard target. Now, with that being said, he took it up to uh, the camp, spent a week with it, walking around, hunting, doing whatever he has to do. For me, this gun is awesome, right out of the box, being able to put a, a group with factory ammo at 100 yards with cheap factory ammo, Remington core locked, 180 grain, 30 out 6 ammo, in a one inch group. Never had any intentions of buying it, never had any intentions of getting another rifle. I was fine with the ones I had. The time came, he wanted to get rid of it, I picked it up. Well. That's awesome because I love the gun. I love the, the weight of the gun. The synthetic stock makes it real easy to use. I'm a tree stand hunter. I'm a, I'm a trail hunter. I like to walk around sometimes. So this gun is awesome. But for me personally, I need a few extra things. The scope has got to go. I can't, I can't have a, a 3x9 variable scope with a small opening. It's a good gun. It's probably a good scope. I'll probably keep it, put it in my safe, whatever. Maybe I'll give it back to, to Papa Bravo. I, I don't know. So with that being said, in the Northeast, we hunt in the woods, obviously, in thick woods. So when you pick up a scope to look through it, this is what you see. You see stuff right in front of your face. So you can't, you can't really see when you have a scope like that. It's tough, tough to see. So with that being said, I want to take this mount off, use a peep through scope mount so it actually raises this up. What a peep through scope mount is, it's just a void underneath the scope, just a round circle like this, just a void so when you shoulder the rifle you can see through the scope or through. And you notice all new rifles today? I don't know if you can see that. No iron sights on the new rifles today. Uh, I'm sure there are some out there but usually I see them on semi-automatic rifles being that this is a bolt as you can see here, doesn't have the iron sights. So I went to Brownells, picked up a set of iron sights. I don't know if you guys can see that. 
right there, set of iron sights. These basically fit a Remington, but if you go put them right where they have to be, they fit on perfectly. I've been using the, uh, the same FFL guy for years, so he'll be able to hook me up. He knows a guy who's going to put these on here. And I'm basically just going to show you guys exactly what I'm going to do to the gun. So that's I, I made this long video for pretty much nothing. I'm not going to test fire today. I just want to introduce this gun. Kind of like introdu introducing a new girlfriend to your mom and dad, so to speak. So this is the new, my new purchase. It's actually, I'm the only one who shot it. So basically it's like it's my gun to begin with. Box magazine, holds four. One in the chamber makes it five. Complete, compliant, legal for whatever we use to hunt at the camp. So there it is. You know my upgrades. And the second upgrade obviously is the scope. Well you saw the first one was the iron sights. Here's the second one. Nikon BDC Pro Staff in real tree. A little bigger scope, a little better scope. It's got the BDC reticles on it so it has the crosshairs at 100 and then the dots underneath to bring it up. Didn't really know much about these but another Camp FU member and a really good friend of mine, just a real great guy. Uh, we call him the Professor. He uh, has one of his on his, has one of these on his Savage, and I was able to fire his Savage, and uh, I was impressed with just the optics, the clarity, and everything. Fog proof, waterproof, just the whole nine yards of this this uh, this thing. It just goes just goes the extra mile. Not top of the line. Not a seven hundred dollar skull. It, it is a little bit on the pricey side. You can get them between 150 to 300 bucks. You know what I mean? Put a camo on there. It's perfectly, perfectly good, perfectly fine. So that's what we got going so far with this rifle. I will make more videos and show you guys exactly what I got going on with this thing. And I'll take it to the range. We'll fire. I'll show you how accurate it is for a a rifle. I only hunt uh, with a rifle maybe two weeks out of the out of the year for uh, rifle season. So. For me personally, I don't want to get into, well, there's better rifles out there. Oh, absolutely there's better rifles out there. I don't want to spend eight, $900 on a rifle that's going to be in the snow. It's going to be in the freezing rain. It's going to get beat up. It's going to be going from hot to cold. Um, just not looking to spend that kind of money. Where I'm at right now is a good, when I'm done, the rifle may be worth, well, I shouldn't say maybe, the rifle will have probably... 500 bucks worth of stuff on it and yeah, that includes the actual price of the rifle the price of the scope and then the price of the iron sights plus the labor and stuff like that so maybe 600 bucks I don't know too many other places you can go get a $600 rifle and have it exactly set up exactly for what you want alright man so this is Cubby with Camp FU and uh, stay tuned don't forget to like our channel subscribe do whatever you have to do to follow us crazy guys on uh, on YouTube uh, Facebook I do believe we have Instagram. I'm not too sure. I'm not the computer savvy guy. So, all right, man, guys, keep it safe, keep it legal, and uh, have a good time. And don't forget to support your local conservation. All right, man, peace out, guys, and I'll talk to you real soon. See what, see what we got going with this rifle here. I'll put this away before my wife sees it. I'm in some serious trouble.